Now I'm going to go over how to change how your channel page is organized and how it looks. Um, and you can do that here um, from YouTube Studio. So basically, um, you can change how things are organized, um, what playlists, what videos show up and stuff on your homepage. So when someone comes and visits your channel page on YouTube, how is it going to look when they show up there? That's what we're going to go take a look at today. So you first want to pull up YouTube Studio here because this is one of the easier ways to get to it. And once you're here on the dashboard, you want to go ahead and go down to where it says customization. And here's where we're going to find out most of the things that we can go ahead and customize for the channel. So first things are a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed to your channel yet. So if they're not a subscriber, um, this video is going to be um, the first video on the home screen and it's going to automatically play for them. So if you have a channel trailer that you've created, you want to go ahead and add that video here. It already has to be uploaded to YouTube. Um, if it is, you can either remove it or change it. So if I wanted to get rid of this, I could. The next one is featured video for returning subscribers. So where that channel trailer shows up for people who have not subscribed, people who have subscribed and are going back to your homepage, this is the top video that'll show up. So this one you probably want to change a little bit more frequently. Um, and again, if you click the three dots, you can change or remove it. So those are the first kind of top two things. After that, we have what comes under those videos and what order they come in. So I have the upload list first, then popular uploads, um, and then you can add playlists too. So I have the Samsung playlist shows up next to, after that. I have two gaming playlists. So in a list here, you can have more than one playlist and things like that. Um, but to add these sections, you want to click add section here. And I already have these two added. That's why they're grayed out. But I'm going to click the one that says single playlist, just an example. And you can go ahead and find the playlist you want to add. So let's do the Google Assistant one. So you can see the Google Assistant one is now at the bottom. It shows the videos, the first few videos that are in that playlist. And I can go ahead and reorganize it and move it up the list if I want to. Um, I can also add one that has multiple playlists. So if I do this, I can do, let's see, Google Photos and Pixel Phones. Sure. And I can rearrange here how they're organized. I can delete one of them one of them if I want. And once this is all good, I can click done. And down at the bottom, you'll see that has that two playlists. So that's the few things on this first layout pad page. You can go to the branding page. This is where you can go ahead and change um, basically the profile image and the banner image. If you want to, you can change them or just get rid of them. You should probably have something there though. Um, and you can also have a video watermark that pops up on most of your videos. I don't have one, but you are more than welcome to add one if you want to. So this is where you can go and change that information if you want to. Then basic info. info. So this is where kind of like the about channel stuff is. So if they click about your channel, here's the description you'll write for the channel. Um, here's the channel URL. You can copy it. You can set a custom URL for your channel if you want to um, and adjust that however you'd like. You can add links and stuff you want to change with the viewer and you can add your contact information down here. So if people want to contact you um, with business inquiries, uh, they can. So now that I've done this, I can cancel I can publish or I can click view channel and it's going to pull up my channel right here so I can kind of see what it looks like. So we can see this is what it looks like for, uh, um, for someone who's 
not a subscriber yet, so you can see the tra trailer here, the channel trailer. Um, if they were a returning subscriber, they would see the featured video here. You scroll down, here's all the stuff I had in the same order for that layout. Um, I didn't save it, any of those changes yet, so it didn't pop anything new up here. This is how I had it before, but you kind of get the idea. You get the layout, you can go and click on things and play those videos. You can also see up here, um, you can't really edit the videos tab or the playlist tab or anything. Um, that's done separately, but if you go to the about page, you can see that's the information um, that we had before um, in the kind of uh, description for the channel. And you can see your emails down here. It's not automatically viewable, but you can click it and people can see that. But if we jump back, we're on this page. If I hit publish, now I click view channel. You can see that those things that I changed, here's the Google, Google Assistant playlist we added. Um, and down here is the one with the Pixel phone and Google Photos. So you can see um, how you can kind of customize and change your channel page um, using these options here in the Customize tab to make it organized kind of the way you want to. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.